I've got two young nieces. I'm taking responsibility for my time on the planet, doing what I can to leave it the best that I can and handing it on to you. Today, we're in Gloucestershire to meet mother and son, Bev and Mark, to see what clean technologies they've had installed in their park home. Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. Don't forget the fully charged live events in 2023 featuring the Home Energy Advice Team, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one session with an expert to go through your future plans. This property is approximately 900 square foot with two bedrooms, a large living room diner and an open plan kitchen. Been here nine months and the reason that we moved was where we were before, um, it was a leasehold property so we weren't allowed to do anything at all, no ecotech, nothing basically and it's something that I've wanted to do for many years so I felt a bit like I've been let off the leash which is probably why we've done so much so quickly but it's absolutely great. These park homes make a great canvas for installing clean energy technologies. As you can see, Bev and Mark have installed both solar and a battery, which is a great combination. They have 10 panels to give them a 3.7 kilowatt system, which is ideal for a property of this size. They also have a 10 kilowatt battery, which can take any excess solar charge. Tell us a bit more about the battery you've got here then. Okay, well, this is my favorite bit of kit. The battery charges via the panels. Uh, we use the battery 24 seven and then any excess goes towards charging the car, but the battery also works with the Zappi as well. That's brilliant, so all you're doing really is, is anything extra you've got is going in here and anything extra once you know, your house is used it, you're gonna chuck in your car, so really you're wasting very little that you're making. Exactly, you? yeah, I'm, I'm all about that. Don't, don't waste the energy, yeah. <laughs> you know, keep your bills down as yeah. well, that's the winner. Can you tell us your experience of living with the solar battery? It's been great, it's been really easy. So the installers calculated the best options for us to go for. We decided based on usability and budget. Um, it all went in in a day. That's quite a fast install. Do you come into any issues at all? No, because they'd been out and seen the site and what we wanted before, um, there was no problems with the install. And um, from a peace of mind longer term, we know that you know we've used the certified installers as well. So yeah, peace of mind, easy to use. You don't even know it's there. Access can be a common challenge when installing solar panels, with scaffolding taking up quite a big bit of the cost. As this is a single-storey home, installation is often faster and cheaper. So I've noticed there's quite a few park homes here and I did see that your neighbour has an air source heat pump. So what led you to choose your clean tech? Uh, well, we wanted to reduce our carbon footprint. We wanted to reduce our reliance on the grid. We wanted to reduce our energy bills especially the way things are at the moment. Um, and for me personally, um, I've got two young nieces and I wanted it to be part of being a good role model for them to say that I'm taking responsibility for my time on the planet, doing what I can to leave it the best that I can and handing it on to you. And what do your neighbours think about what you've done so far? They were very interested and they've asked several questions. Obviously, they're concerned about prices, but as we've explained to them, which we're already finding in this short time, that the energy prices are definitely reduced having the solar panels, and we definitely recommend it to anybody. What impact have you seen on your energy bill since you've had your solar panels installed? Brilliant, basically. Uh, almost unbelievable, because um, we've had two reductions in our monthly average of what we're paying, Yet, at the same time, the prices have increased twice. Um, so that's not only the kilowatt per hour, but also the daily standing charge. So, you know, we've only had the tech seven months. So I think to receive that return on our investment so quickly is very encouraging for the future. And with your battery, are you using everything or are you giving anything back to the grid? No, with the nature that park homes are, we can't, uh, you know, any park home can't export to the grid. Um, and again, that was a reason uh, for really a big reason for having the battery because it makes the most of the solar generation. And also a reason to have the um, EV charger installed, I guess, as well, because again, you can't send it back, so you use might it. as well use it. <laughs> yeah. use it. Is there anything else you're thinking of installing in terms of green tech in the future? 
I think primarily would be additional panels because the panels are on one side of the building during the winter months the generation drops off you know from sort of lunch time onwards so to have more panels on the opposite side would boost the generation there. Mm -hmm. The other thing we're looking to medium to longer term is uh, if it's possible to have a rainwater collection system um, because again that improves the green credentials of the home and longer term than that um, the main one has got to be the boiler because from 2026 replacement new LPG boilers are banned um, so that's a thing it's on the horizon it will happen um, so yes and you know look into uh, at this moment uh, an air source heat pump to replace that. I would really encourage site owners to embrace you know the uh, evolution in green technology because I think our home was here and we had our tech retrofitted. As we are at the moment, there's a lot more homes that are already existing that can have clean tech retrofitted, um, as well as people buying new homes onto plots on sites. The business that can be gained and the kudos from having a site which encourages green tech, um, both at an individual home level and also like we're seeing popping up around this country and around the world where they've got like energy hubs. If you can't export to the grid, then where does your excess energy go? Well, I completely agree. I think it's a, a, definitely a great idea to go forward, especially for park homes, because there are so many of them and they can all benefit from it, can't they? Exactly. Would you do it again? I'd certainly do it again. We moved in June and by August we'd already had all the panels fitted. Um, I love it down here. My daughter is only five miles away so I can see my grandchildren grow up now and I'd certainly recommend it to other people.